So check this out. I have a Universal Audio UAD-X native plugin on my channel here in Luna, and I want to record, enable, and over it up a part. I hit record, and just like magic, this just became the UAD DSP version with no latency. Let's see how this is all going on. Hey all, Matt Hepworth here. So not only has Universal Audio just opened up Apollo to core audio interfaces, they've also made it so Apollo users can now seamlessly switch between DSP and native processing on Luna, just like you'd get in a Pro Tools hybrid engine workflow with Carbon or HDX. Uh, really, really cool. Let's check it out. So here's just a basic session. And let's say I need to overdub. Switch to my console view here really quick. I'm just gonna slide over. So here's my scratch vocal channel. And this is loaded with three UADX native plugins. But let's say I need to do an overdub. I just come up here, make sure I'm set to the input I want, which in this case is mic three. And I come down here and record enable. Watch what happens to all three of these plugins automatically and any processing down the chain. Record enable, presto. Everything just became the UAD DSP versions with almost zero latency. So I can now punch in seamlessly. And once I'm done, record disable, bam. They all switch back to the native version. So this is a fantastic workflow. This is the same thing that we've been able to do in the Pro Tools hybrid engine with HDX and Carbon. Only now we can do it with UAD plugins instead of the generic basic plugins that are typically what we're forced to use in AAX DSP. This is a big, big step for UA moving in the direction of what a lot of the more advanced project studios and things like that are gonna need. And the cool thing is, if it exists in UADX format, it exists in UAD DSP format. So any plugin that I add in here, as long as it's UADX, I record enable that, and it now switches seamlessly to UAD. Just super slick. So there are two ways to accomplish these kinds of changes. We can do it plugin by plugin if we want to. We can switch between DSP and native right on the fly. That just switched to DSP for me, switch it back. Super, super simple. And the other way we can do that is we can do it globally. So we can convert all DSP plugins to native. That'll immediately free resources. Or we can actually do the opposite. So we could switch all our native plugins over to DSP for a tracking situation or if we just needed to uh, regain some CPU because we're not on the latest and greatest Mac. So we can do that. Now, you might run into a situation where you don't have enough DSP to actually handle all the conversion. And let's see how Luna handles that. And I think I might be in that situation. Yes, I am. So there we go. Now, we've probably all run into this on other systems where you get a DSP error and you're just not sure what's affected, how to handle it. Well, now this is super simple to rectify because we can immediately see the handful of plugins that exceeded that DSP usage. And we can immediately just switch those to native to compensate. So that error popping up tells me that I still have one more, at least, that I need to compensate for. And it looks like it's this guy. No error means my session is now good. I now have primarily DSP instead of native. And I do see it freed up some CPU as well, which is really nice. So I hate the term, but this really is a game changer for people like me that really care about latency, really care about workflow, and have been really used to the Pro Tools uh, HD and Pro Tools HDX and Pro Tools Carbon workflows. 
This now competes and it competes with better plugins. So now that we know most of these are DSP, we can see that this is the UAD2 DSP version. What happens if we switch this to the native engine? Well, so it gives us an error. It says seven plugins failed to load. So all we need to do, because those were flagged for DSP, but I don't now have any DSP showing for that, all I need to do is go to mixing, convert all DSP to native. Now, obviously there's an exception. Oceanway doesn't exist yet in native, and I hope that's yet. <laughs> So that one needs to stay DSP. So unfortunately, in my native mix setup where my Apollo's disconnected, that plugin can't be used. But otherwise, this is a very seamless workflow. Really slick. So I'm just going to switch my engine back to Apollo. And you notice now Oceanway is happy. Everything's happy. Everything's working great. There's my chorus effect on the scratch vocal now active. So my entire chain, everything downstream, my reverb, my delay, everything, all switched to DSP at the touch of a button. Super cool. And let me show you a cool trick. So some of the complaints have been, I can't interchange my presets, but that wasn't really true entirely because we could come into our UADX version. We could copy that setting. We could insert a UAD version. and then we could paste those settings in. However, we don't need to do that any longer. If we like this preset, we can just click here, switch it to DSP, and save that preset. Bam. And just like that, saved. And of course, vice versa works as well. So a super slick way to get some of your custom settings switched over. But for the most part, you don't even have to worry about that with this new workflow change because it's as simple as switching between native and DSP on the fly. Now, if you wanna see another great demonstration of this, make sure you check out Drew Mazurik's video that I'm gonna link down here in the description. So this is just huge. And I rarely use the word game changer or the term game changer, but this really is. It puts Luna in a direct competition with things like Carbon, uh, with the Pro Tools hybrid workflow, and it does it really well. Great job, UA. So as you can see there, pretty huge workflow improvements. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Matt Hepworth, see you next time.